Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. So me and my husband recently visited Curacao and had an amazing time. In this video, we'll be giving our full Curacao travel guide and tips based off our experience traveling here. Curacao is a Dutch Caribbean island belonging to the Kingdom of the Netherlands. It's just off the coast of Venezuela between Aruba and Bonaire, otherwise known as the ABC Islands. Curacao does require a digital immigration card. It is 100% free. You can simply search Curacao digital immigration card or go directly to the country's website, which I'll include the direct link in the description below. You must complete this form within seven days prior to your arrival. Once processed, you will receive a digital copy. Be sure to save it to your phone or print a copy as it must be presented at customs upon arrival. There is public transportation in Willemstad and taxis scattered across the island that are marked TX. But personally, we recommend that you rent a car and explore the island like we did. The road conditions are typically good, especially in Willemstad and the more touristy areas. If you venture off west or east of the island, you'll notice the opposite as the roads are a lot rougher. Personally, we felt comfortable driving around. If you rent a car, you will need cash, as majority of the gas stations would not accept cars. Curacao is considered one of the safest islands to visit. However, you still want to be aware of your surroundings, as petty crime can happen anywhere. I wouldn't leave any valuable items unattended in public or in your car. I will say that we felt safe our entire trip and even more outside of the touristy areas from the locals. Willemstad is the capital of Curacao. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its colored Dutch colonial architecture, multicultural neighborhoods, and national parks. We highly recommend that you explore this area as it's filled with history, art, restaurants, local vendors, shopping, and it's home of the Queen of Bridge. We did stay in Willemstad at the Dreams Curacao Resort and Spa. We do have a resort tour here as well if you're interested. The link will be in the description below. This island has a total of 38 clean beaches, mostly known for its clear blue water beaches, which makes it perfect for diving and snorkeling due to a variety of reef fish and marine life. Most of the beaches are located among rocky cliffs. We were told by locals this helps the water stay calm. The beaches are free of sargasm seaweed, as this currently is an issue for many islands in the Caribbean. Also, be sure to research each beach you plan on visiting, as some have entry fees and charge to use the public restroom. Beach hopping was our favorite thing to do during this trip, so we highly recommend you too as well. Curacao is rich in culture and very diverse. Though it's primarily known for its Dutch and Afro-Caribbean influence, it's also home to French, Asian, Latin American, and other descents. The island's native language is Papamentu, which is a Creole blend of African, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, French, English, and Iwak Indian. Though we didn't get a chance to try any cashew or iguana stew, which are local favorites, our food experience here was good, and there's a great amount of variety throughout the island. Our favorite place that we ate at was Myra's Kitchen in Willemstad. If you get a chance to stop by, we highly recommend that you try one of their fresh smoothies and the crab bagel. The weather here is considered great year round, especially being that it's outside of the Caribbean hurricane belt, which makes it perfect to visit this island year round. Some other tips to note, the local currency is the Italian Gilder. 
also referred to as the florin. USD is accepted. I'll be sure to put the conversion rate below. Do bring cash if you plan on venturing outside of Willemstad or the touristy areas, as there is a chance the card won't be accepted. If you do prefer to use a local SIM card, the island does have two carriers, Digicel and Flow. Both companies do have booths in the airport. I'll also link the website in the description below. So that wraps up our Curacao travel guide. Again, we had an amazing time on this island and we definitely recommend that everyone visit if you can. As always, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to drop them below and we'll try our best to answer them. And we'll see you in the next video.